Katie May with Torah Time News. We are live in the wilderness, and behind me right now is Jacob, the third patriarch of the Hebrew people. And he looks pretty frustrated. Let's let's go in and take a look. Oh, oh, I just ran away from home, and I feel so totally alone. I've actually never felt more alone. I wish God was here to guide me. Where is God anyway? Oh my, it looks like all of this frustration is making Jacob quite sleepy. And yes, he is indeed now lying down to go to sleep. While he's sleeping, I'm going to keep my voice down so as not to upset Jacob, but I'm also going to fill you in on how it is that we got here. Jacob is the same patriarch who fought with his twin brother Esau. He tricked Esau out of his birthright and stole Esau's blessing. Esau was furious and threatened to kill Jacob. Jacob had to run away from his home. Now he's on his own. We can only imagine how nervous he is, which is probably why we heard him expressing a desire for God to help him. Oh my, it looks like Jacob has just woken up from his sleep. Let's go in for an interview. Excuse me, excuse me, Jacob, a third patriarch of the Hebrew people. You just woke up with quite a start. Can you fill us in on what's going on? Yeah, so I thought I was all alone. And then in my dream, I realized God was here with me. Here, of all places. I mean, I know I wished for God to be here with me, but I never thought that God would actually show up. I never expected that I would hear God's voice when I was feeling so alone. Now, how is it that you know that God is in this place with you, Jacob? So I was running away from home because I was threatened by my brother. And then in my dream, I saw this ladder coming out of the ground, going up to the sky. And there were angels of God going up and down the ladder. And then I heard God's voice. God spoke to me when I least expected it. Wow, that is quite a dream, yeah. Jacob. I know. I, I, I gotta go. I gotta get some rest. I have a lot of traveling to do tomorrow. Okay. Oh my. All right, viewers at home, there you have it. God was in this place and Jacob didn't even know. Now, I'm wondering if some of our younger viewers have ever experienced anything like this, where they've encountered God in a time or a place where they didn't expect God to show up. This is Maggie Mae outside, but I'm now going to cut to Maggie Mae inside, who's going to interview some of our younger viewers and ask them if they too have ever experienced something like what Jacob has just experienced. Thank you, Maggie Mae outside. This is Maggie Mae Inside from Torah Time News. I'm here with Allegra, a third grade student. Allegra, when is a time that you felt God with you when you didn't expect God to be there? I feel God with me after I hurt my sister Bardo and God reminds me if I, that I did something wrong. Robert from the third grade, when is a time that you felt God's presence when you didn't expect God to be there? When I didn't expect it most, when I was about to fall asleep, I just felt God. I felt God when I light the Shabbat candles on the flames. I really felt that God was there during my brother and sister's B'nai Mitzvah. When they were singing the Amidah, they sang about Rachel, Sarah, Leah, and Rebecca, who to worship God in their stories. And I thought about their stories and how I worship God too. That's when I felt God was there. Well, recently we had the unveiling for my Pop Pop, and it was very sad because it reminded me he was no longer with us, and I missed him. However, at some point I felt comforted by God's presence, and I didn't feel sad or alone anymore. It helped me make a sad day feel a little better. Wow. Thank you for sharing that, Lindsay. Sometimes I get really sad about moving back and forth from my mom to my dad's house, but then I, I feel like God's there because I f and I feel so much better. Awesome, thank you. I had an argument with a girl, then my science teacher got mad because we had an argument. I felt misunderstood. I felt all alone. 
I then felt God. I felt a bit better. That's the end. Well, there you have it. I'm Maggie May inside your computer. Now we'd love to hear from the viewers at home. When was a time that you felt God's presence when you least expected it? Talk to your friends, talk to your family, and then tell us in the comments below. No, really, we'd love to hear your comments. Until next time, this is Maggie May from Torah Time News signing off. Good night and good luck. Lila Tov, the Mazel Tov. Thank you.